Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to day 9 of Makeup Mayhem. Today's video is going to be shopping my stash or rediscovering stuff that you already have. And I've actually got quite a lot of stuff and kind of all over the place. Um, some nail stuff, some mainly makeup, and a purse. So I'm going to start with the purse, and it's down here, so. The first thing I'm rediscovering is this purse right here. I used it all throughout my time in high school. And then when I got to college, I just stopped using it. And so I just, like, would switch around purses. I wouldn't use a purse, or I would use my backpack the entire time. And so I never used this. And then I got my coach purse, which I use all the time. Or I'll use my Dooney and Burke purse, or my satchel bag, or my, like, boho Doctor Who bag. But the other day I pulled this out and I was like, you know what? I'm going to start using this again. It's a really good purse. It's really well made. It's Ralph Lauren. And, yeah. It's Lauren by Ralph Lauren. And it's a really well made purse. Um, so my mom washed it because it was really, it was practically black and you couldn't read the RLL on it. And I've just, I've been using it and I've really been loving it because it's just, it's just a quick, easy thing for me to grab. I don't have to like strap it around here, I just strap it to the seatbelt of my and left hand like I'm ready to go. I've kind of rediscovered is the Harajuku Lover's Little Angel. Looks like this, that's what the doll looks like. The scent is okay, it's not my favorite, so now I'm just kind of trying to use it up. Um, the reason I really wanted this perfume when they came out and they were so popular was because of the doll. Um, it had the Amat A on it and everything, and it had stars, and it was blue and gold, which were my school, my high school's colors. And so, I'm rediscovering this, I'm trying to like use it up, and just, and once I'm used it up, I'm going to keep the doll and throw away the perfume bottle. So the palette that, I'm re that I rediscovered is my Oz the Great and Powerful by Urban Decay Glinda palette. And it looks like this. I'm going to flip it around so that you guys don't see the mirror. And these are what the colors look like. They're absolutely gorgeous colors, especially my favorite one out of this entire palette is this pink one because it's kind of a duochrome. It's mainly pink, but in certain lights it can look lilac. And it's just, it's a really pretty palette. It's a good hard case. It comes with um, a Rockstar eyeliner pencil, which is like a dark plum, almost an eggplant kind of color. And I just, I got it. And I used it for a good while, and then I just stopped using it for some reason. And so I am I keep it out, or I keep it in my eye line. Um, like, I know where it is in my, in my palette's storage, so that I can just reach for it and grab for it and use it more. And so I'm really happy that I've rediscovered this. The next thing I'm kind of rediscovering is like a blush highlighter, and it's the Revlon blush highlighter in Rose Glow. And I know I talked about this in a video not that long ago, but this is stuff I've rediscovered kind of over the last month, and not like the last week or the last day. And it's just, it's such a beautiful blush. I, like, you swirl all the colors together, and it makes a beautiful blush, or like you just use the top two colors right there and you get a really nice like highlight that's kind of like what I did today for just a soft effect nothing too really dramatic especially because today I'm not really going anywhere this is really all I'm doing and so I didn't want to have like a really like bam face you know I just wanted like a nice soft face that I can easily take off tonight and not really worry about but I've really been loving this I rediscovered two concealers, and the first one is the Benefit Fake Up in Light. Yeah, 01 Light. And this is what it looks like. It's got the concealer in the center, and then around it that kind of well, whitish, clearish kind of stuff. So it looks like from the side. Um, it's like a moisturizer. And it's a very light coverage concealer for under the eyes. You, you definitely don't use this for spot concealing. But for under the eyes, it's really nice for a nice light, you know, conceal. If, you don't, if you're not going to put any foundation over it or underneath of it, it's really great for that. And then for spot concealing, I've rediscovered my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in 01 
light. I, I just assume that everything I wear is light or fair because that's that's my skin tone. And I rediscovered how wonderful of a concealer this is. Oh, there's a hair. It's my hair, luckily. Um, this is really great for spot concealing. I got it when I got my first foundation. I mean, I've used a good amount of it. It was up to here when I bought it. So I've used a lot of it. It's just... I need to use more of it. Um, but I really, really like it. And it's a really good concealer. It's really creamy. Really nice to blend in. Not chalky. Doesn't really crease on me. And it's, it's great. The foundation I've been rediscovering is my Revlon Photo Ready Straight Airbrush Foundation. Now I know they came out with the new Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Liquid Foundation. Which I have and I really, really love. But this was their original airbrush foundation which comes out in like a spray mousse form. And it gives a very nice light coverage. It's definitely not a heavy or a medium coverage. It's definitely a light coverage. But it's a really nice foundation for days like when it's really hot and you don't want your foundation melting off. It just, it stays. And it, but it also gives you a nice dewy but not oily look. I've also rediscovered my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in, this is medium deep. I got it in a blogger kit. And this is what it looks like. Um, smells like chocolate, just like everybody says. Um, but I use this to contour. I used it to contour today. I didn't really do any heavy contouring. I just did some light contouring. And I, I'm really glad I've refound this. Refound? That I found this again. Now I have a few brushes that I've rediscovered that I love and whoops. Two of them are Essence of Beauty which you can get at CVS if you have a CVS near you and it's these two and then my fluffy brush by Sephora. I just I kind of neglected these brushes and I'm really started to try to use them again and they're really great brushes. They're really well made, obviously, especially the Sephora one. There's no, like, hairs falling out or anything, so they're really, really great brushes. Now for eyeliners. I have a lot of eyeliners. Do, 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 do. It is not Christmas time. I have two pencils. I have my Ulta, just straight brown pencil. It's a twist up. Nothing too special about it, but I'm trying to rediscover brown eyeliner just in general and trying to use that more so as so it's not as harsh of a line. Um, especially like during the day. I'm trying to broaden my spectrum from just my regular blacks. So this has been a really good one that is helping because it's so soft and it's it goes on so nicely. And the other one, it wasn't, it's kind of like I'm trying to finish up this year. It's Zero by Urban Decay. As you can tell, it's kind of down to a little nib now. It's not even the size of my finger. And, um, yeah, I'm just trying to use this up. That's kind of why I've, I knew I had it. So I went through and I made sure I rediscovered it so I can use it up because it's, it's old. It's, I've had it for quite a few years, and it's time for it to go. And now I have three liquid liners, two by NYX and one by Milani, and they're these three. Um, this one is a Glam Liner Aqua Luxe, and it's just this really pretty blue color that you see on the cap. And then another Glam Liner Aqua Luxe that is waterproof. And it's this gorgeous gold color. I'm wearing it today. And these go on so nicely. I don't know why I stopped using them, but I'm definitely going to start using them again. And this is a brand new product, but something I had used years and years ago, and I loved, and then I forgot that I loved it. And I saw it at the store, and I was like, wait a minute. I love this product because you can go swimming with it on, and it won't come off which makes it a bit of a pain to take off at night, but it's definitely worth it if you're 
definitely the type of person who like rubs their eyes or like has allergies, this is the liquid eyeliner you want. The lipstick I rediscovered is actually a MAC lipstick and it's a cream sheen. It's called Cross Wires. And I'm wearing it today on my lips. And it just it looks like this. And it's a, just a nice pinkish red coral color. It was my very, very first MAC purchase about a year ago. And no, way more than a year ago. Maybe two years ago was my very first MAC purchase, and it was this and the Lip Liner Whirl. And I love this color, and I just, I stopped grabbing for it again. Again, these are things, like, I just stopped grabbing for for some reason. Because I got, like, other things. I got excited about other things, and they got pushed to the wayside. But I have this sitting out with my other MAC lipsticks now that are out on my shelf. I only have four, so it's not like I have many to choose from. Um... And yeah, I've really been loving this. The mascara I rediscovered is my Calvin Klein one. Um, I actually used up one, and then I found this one. Still in its box, still sealed, still whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, why not use it? Use it up. It's not my favorite formula. It's not my favorite mascara by any means necessary. So I'm trying to use it up just because I don't. I don't really like it. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the wand or the formula. It makes my lashes stick together. Even when I try to comb it out, I just, I don't like that look. And then I found these two nail things. And they're nail appliques. Some are like, these are like flowers, and these are just little things that I got at Claire's. And I found these yesterday when I was doing a major deep clean of my room and I was moving everything around. And I found the empty box and I found the flowers scattered everywhere behind this this one, like, set of drawers. So I picked up and moved the set of drawers and I got down on the floor and I picked up all of the flowers that I could find and I put them back in the box. And I'm really happy because now I have my flowers and I have my bows. I, in the back of my mind, I knew I had the flowers somewhere, but I just didn't think about it. And so, and these I completely didn't know I had. So, that's awesome. New nail things. And then the last one, four things are all lip things. And I'm rediscovering, like, my nude lip liner, because I've been using the pink and red a lot. But I haven't been using the nude, and this is the NYX Twist Up Lip Liner in Nude. And it's just, it's a nice lip liner. It's very nice. It's very creamy. Um, yeah, it's a great lip liner. And then I've been rediscovering kind of the nude lip. And to do that, because I'm so pale, I've been reusing the Wet n Wild lipstick in 902C Bare It All. And then I will top it with the NYX, um... Lip, uh, NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Sweetheart. And then that way it doesn't wash me out as much, but it's still a nice nude lip. And so I've been, really been loving these. And then the last thing was, I got this as a 100 point perk, like maybe a year ago. And I didn't use it, and I didn't use it, and I looked at it, I was like, okay, I've got to start using it, or I'm going to toss it. And so I started using it, it's the Buxom Lip Gloss in Sophia. Yeah, in Sophia, and it's just this really nice pink, natural lip color, and it just, it looks so good, and it feels so nice on the lips. I absolutely love it. I don't know, I want more of these types of lip glosses. I want more of the Buxom lip glosses, because they are absolutely amazing, and they are just, they make my lips tingle, and I love it, and they're just, I love them. They're amazing. So that's it guys, that's it for my Shop My Stash slash what I've rediscovered um, or what I've made myself rediscover. And the grunting you hear is my dog because he can't get comfortable because he's on my bed. <sighs> he's such a spoiled, rotten little dog. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my Shop My Stash slash 
rediscover slash make myself rediscover products. Um, it was a lot, it's been a lot of fun kind of, you know, rediscovering all these products that I've had that are so wonderful. And that's like, it's the cheapest way of shopping, you know, is going through the stuff that you already have and finding stuff that's like, oh, wait a minute, I forgot I had this. Or like, I knew I had it, I just not, haven't used it in a while. You know, it's a great way to just get new looks or try new products or try products you haven't used in a long time and maybe, you know, write a review on them or do a review on them. And so it's it's really awesome. And thank you guys so much for watching again. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you liked this video, if you really liked it, or even if you just kind of liked it, click that thumbs up button. It would really mean a lot. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. See you soon. Bye, guys.